Dental care is expensive, and for people without private insurance, getting basic care is often a luxury they just can't afford. But thanks to donations and grants, Victoria's Kool Aid Society has been operating Vancouver Island's only nonprofit dental clinic for five decades. And as Tess Van Stratton shows us in this week's Vital People, demand is higher than ever. Tabitha Costera is at the Kool Aid Dental Clinic for a chip tooth. I don't mind the dentist, I just don't like the needles. Tabitha is just happy to be at the dentist at all because she wouldn't have been able to get her tooth fixed if it wasn't for the Kool-Aid clinic. It's just too much for me to afford. The dental clinic, which has been making a difference since 1972, provides services for people who receive ministry coverage and has reduced rates for those on a fixed or low income. Uh, a lot of people don't have the means to pay for dental treatment and we offer patients without any type of insurance a reduction on the current fee guide. And so for a lot of people, it's the only affordable option for, for dental care. From fillings, extractions and root canals to hygiene and even dentures, the Kool-Aid Clinic offers a full range of dental services for people who would likely otherwise fall through the cracks. Okay. We're the only not-for-profit on Vancouver Island, so we are very busy. The clinic sees 25 to 30 patients a week and the need is so great, appointments are being booked at least two to three months out. But there are also six walk-in appointments each day since many people can't wait for treatment. We do have to turn people away because we can only accommodate so many patients a day, a week, a month, so ideally there would be more clinics like Kool-Aid on the island. Due to COVID, demand is now higher than ever for these important services, which are funded through donations and grants. Fundraising efforts are ongoing, but Kathleen says the province also needs to provide more dental care for vulnerable people. The system needs to change. People that are in the system need more money for dental care because the need is so high. They get $1,000 every two years, um, but it's not enough. It's not enough money. Tabitha is just thankful she was able to get in. Yeah, I think they're making a great big difference in the, in the community here, and uh, I hope that they still keep going with it. Because if this place shuts down, I don't know what, what people will do. Vital People, brought to you by the Victoria Foundation. Connecting people who care with causes that matter.